fascinating looking box have arrived. It's like somebody has sent me a gorilla packed in this box. I can already smell the smell of diesel. G'day, g'day, it's another bloody gorgeous day here in Paradise, Christchurch, New Zealand. It's amazing how after a decade, two decades, after Finn Hansen made his hot bulb and his true diesel uh, model engines and showed them to the world via YouTube, that things should be moving so fast right now, because just as the hobby level model diesel engine by the Chinese guy is released and beginning to be looked at. We're also seeing running video for the first time of a German model engineers, also commercial enterprise to mass produce a Finn Hansen inspired diesel engine. The Chinese one is a hobbyist level, hobby engineer like me, and priced accordingly. The German one is, um, one may say, typically German, you know, and priced accordingly. Actually, they haven't released it, but here's some video of it. Niffy2, I think, is the user, and um, it's beautiful. It's very well made. It's your traditional engineered, you know, it's got engineer's bolts rather than these internal hex bolts, and all very traditional. Um, would I buy one of the German ones? For a complete kit of machined parts, he's thinking around 1,500 euros. So you've got to add sales tax, you've got to add some other costs that haven't occurred to him yet, and you've got to add postage, which uh, from Germany is probably going to be a whole Mercedes BMW level prices for anything. So compared to, you know, what is it, seven or eight hundred US dollars posted to 1500 euros estimated, yeah, um, and then you get a kit and you've got to build it and figure it out yourself. So they're obviously in a different market. Neither of these guys should be worried about the other. And I'm not sure that they are worried about the other. They come from a different philosophy. The German is like, no, you have to do it this way. This is the traditional way. You, you know, you, sorry, my German accent. Um, Nein, this must be this way. That's better. Okay, so, um, and, the, and as you guys know, Chinese are about getting something out there quickly that works and you can deal with it later and that's how they can move their civilization as quickly as they can you know um it's just a different philosophy and i'm on board for both kinds of engineering there was a little uh, back and forth between the designer of this engine and the german engineer about whether a, a polyfluoro piston ring was suitable or not and the traditional engineer's um opinion is always that it is not suitable whereas Pretty much all these engines have the fluoro piston ring, and although they're supposed to be a part that wears out, I've never had one wear out, and you guys know how much I use my engines. These are not engines that are going to be running for hours on end. It is what it is. It gets me in the door to play with something. Talking of playing with something, I've got all my gears fixed here. Here I'm using a makeshift puller to pull this off so I can repair that brass nut that brass gear, helical gear. Pulling this off. Be keeping you up to date with anything I can on that German engine because I think I would like to build one of those. It would be by far the most expensive engine I've bought and it would be a big challenge for me, but it would be fascinating. Goodness knows when that's gonna happen. A year, I don't know. The, the community is coming together even if there's only like two or three of these engines out there. But already the Chinese manufacturer is taking on board some of the suggestions. From 
Darren Fawcett, who's you know made a sort of a throttle control, very simple, very elegant throttle control that works on the governor. Uh, well done, Darren. And um, that's pretty much where we're at. So the videos that I've got from China, I need to get somebody to translate those. My dear wife is absolutely fine at translating, but I might get one of our friends who is um, a plumber who might know more of the technical words and be a bit more um, familiar for that translation. And then we'll see if we can get that up on the internet as well. Thanks for following. It's a fascinating field. And as I say, that it should be sort of blowing up after 20 years of Finn Hansen's work is um, just remarkable to me and exciting. Um, still got some other engines on the way coming. Keep, in, keep tuned, keep in touch, keep watching. Oh.